Frodan, what are your predictions? How are you feeling this is going to end out? Uh, I, I pick Straylock. Not necessarily because I, I don't like Sen. I think Sen is great. He's beautiful. He's handsome. He's He can do two ab rollers, which is fantastic. Yep. <laughs> and uh, Sen's more than funny. Ben. He's also like at level, like we talk about people being high level in Diablo, man. He is high level in Defender, the mobile app game where you just like sit there defending <laughs> with arrows <laughs> and like frost rays and fireballs. Yeah. He's, he just sits there playing for hours and hours and hours. And I actually nothing. said, okay, so Sen and Todd had a show match here at the NASL Studios. And Todd was there diligently working, making <laughs> sure that he was He's like know, practicing, ready for the streaming. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Sen, do you want to play? He goes, no, 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 no. Uh, don't want, don't want. I was like, why not? He's like, oh, I, I want to play my game. I was like, what are you playing? He's like, uh, a <laughs> defender's game. I was like, my God. And he's sitting there with his iPhone just plugging away yeah. at that and he's like he comes up to me he, f he doesn't say anything for the longest time yeah. and uh, when he finally says something he said he comes up to me and he's like i was expecting him like, do you want to practice or anything he's like do you have a charger for an iphone <laughs> 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 like after everything like he comes with me very serious as if like uh, his, his puppy died or something he comes with a sad face like my iphone is out of power <laughs> but uh guys and then, he, and then he goes on to win four two i know right stop. he goes that on to win freaking boss <laughs> let's introduce our players starting from the bottom right we have sen from team gamma bears over in taiwan uh Ch cha cheng is his name yang cha cheng yang cha cheng yang cha cheng it's really tough for me even as a chinese person to say that Top left-hand corner, we have FXO Strelok as the green Terran, and he's going for command center first. I do want to mention, oh, I forgot my prediction, actually. Um, let's go over that. I choose Sen. Go, Sen. <laughs> Sen, I choose you. Use tackle. No, he would use, um, what would he use? Barrel roll. That's what he would use. Why? No, Sen is, uh, he's lovable. He's a bear. He would uh, definitely eat stuff and harvest stuff. Like, bears are really good at, like, harvesting honey. Yeah, you got right. that from Winnie the Pooh, right? Well, and also just natural facts of life. <laughs> like, have I you ever that. turned on National Geographic? It's okay, man. I've not. I've seen them. Eat I'm more salmon. closer than that's, you. It's that's obvious. probably the the more standard way to go with it. But you'll get there, Froden. Whatever, dude. You'll get there. Whatever. Now, Sen, uh, he's going for very standard build. You can see that his uh, pool is finishing up. He's going to be able to double queen very soon. Strelok went for command center first, and I th and Sen did manage to get peak of it. Uh, at least in terms of uh, he's able to waltz up there and s uh, catch a whiff of it. And Sen, he's a... Uh, how would you define his ZVT style, Andre? Drones. Okay. Actually, every style of his is drones. That's true, even in ZVZ. I've Drones talked to so many Koreans about Sen's style, and he actually has a very, very famous style in Korea. Everybody knows him very well. And they say that Sen just makes drones, and the times that you think that he shouldn't be making drones, he makes drones. And everybody always says, in Korea, I've talked to about this with Golden, and who is the other? Oh, and Violet. Violet. And they both said that, yeah, he um, he defends situations where you would think that you wouldn't be able to defend. And his micro is actually very intelligent, and uh, he, he just yeah. makes stuff for himself and, and defies logic a lot of times. Yeah, I mean, even if you think back into when uh, Sen was in GSL, and he made that epic defense against, it was OGS Vines, I believe. And uh, he Sen did a fantastic defense. It was on blistering sands of all map too, and he's just able to really come out and sit ahead in situations where sometimes you don't think he can. And that's going to be really important against someone like Straylock style. Loves his timings, love his build orders, and is very precise uh, with how he executes everything. You can see the first uh, building switch already happening. Oh, and Sen, oh, just barely missed the train there. Uh, but he got enough information. He sees the command center done. He sees the factory and the reactor. So, uh, in essence, that was a very successful circling. Unfortunately, he doesn't see the starport. Now, that was his first scout. I want to mention that. So, he doesn't actually know uh, what his opponent is capable of yet. But he sees the very fast orbital command center. I do want to mention that this orbital command center is so fast, he should know it was command center first. So, there's a lot of things that are cut out. A lot of different uh, early timings are actually cut out of Strelux. Um, potential, and I think that's why we saw this hatchery actually being put down. The hatchery is pretty safe because, you know, Hellions, they're going to be kind of slow and a kind of late. So getting this hatchery, hopefully he will be able to defend against anything that comes. 
It is Banshee's with Cloak, though, and yeah. that might prove to be a lot of trouble. Mm, yeah, this is a pretty good transition to really deny Zerg's ability to get his third up while you can stay safe at home as long as uh, you don't get Roach Bane busted. But you see that Straylock does have his first initial hands covering the Watchtowers, not really trying to harass whatsoever. Sen's been, I guess, pretty impervious to that, spreading his creep as well. But what is Sen doing back home? He's finally getting speed at a pretty reasonable time. He hasn't really put his drones back on gas, though, only really keeping uh, the two at his mate or at his natural. Now starting to saturate all three gases. What, what? How does Sen really react to this? Does he need to get more queens out to really deal with these bands, or does he just simply need to get an evil chamber? Well, he's probably going to get the evil chamber from yeah. here. He knows exactly what his opponent is capable of. Now it is Catechus Reactor inside of that that uh, tech lab, and he's actually faking now. He no, not Caduceus faking out. Caduceus, excuse me. Um, but it won't be Cloak, and still, I think Sen will defend against Cloak build. But that gets canceled immediately, and a Viking is going to pop out. But you know, it will uh, force his opponent to incur a little bit. Excuse me. It will incur a little bit of damage, forcing his opponent to make a couple of evol evolution chambers. But still, I think Sen comes out ahead because he has this one expansion. And unless he can kill some drones, he'll be in a terrible position going into mid game. That is Strelok. Yeah. Um, Strelok, obviously, the reason why he's not able to do so much is because he went for a command center first. But his additional Hellions do get some good shots on the drones. And immediately, Strelok trying to get a uh, good position with his Hellions. But of course, this is all a ploy so he can finish up his third base and stay even macroeconomically. And Strelok looking pretty solid, just picking off a couple of drones there, not losing any units. It's always a great trade. <laughs> you can pick off drones for nothing. The third command center is finished. That should merge into an orbital command center pretty soon. There it starts right now. Stim and plus one armor are researching at this point. But Sen, uh, I'm just looking at him. He has his fourth hatchery. I would actually uh, expect a fifth hatchery to pop out pretty soon just because um, he, he will be droning pretty hard from here. And on top of that, he can afford it going this style, which is a mass zergling style with upgrades. So he's in a great position, I think, mm. to take out uh, his opponent. We'll see. Strelok uh, might be mustering up some sort of push in the coming five minutes. Yeah, a couple of Strelok's uh, units did get picked off there as Sen puts ooh, the Viking trying to see if they can uh, get one more snipe on the Overlord, and it does. So supply blocking Sen. Very nice little thing there. You know, Strelok's just picking off units whatever he can. I love it. Uh, and he's, he's not over committing his units other than the, in the, that one, uh, the one Hellion that was there. You can see that Straylock also is just getting ready to keep up in upgrades as well. He's going double engineering bay. We've been seeing more and more of these Aftarans trying to see if they can match the upgrade powers of these mass Zerglings. Straylock is going to scan and try to see if he can pick off some of these tumors, which Sen's been doing a good job spreading the creep. Nonetheless, though, Sen should be prepared for this. He's got 42 Zerglings uh, in production here. He's also pulling all of his queens, should, should be able to push back the bench. And this is so Sen style. You can see all the queens and Zerglings springing to action. He's going to oh try man. to get a good surround. He will get it on all the units. They will stim, but it's too late at this point. Picks up and a beautiful defense. Now think about how efficient that was. He's been droning this whole time. The second his opponent steps on creep, all the units get made. The second they actually move a little bit too far out, all the Zerglings will be able to defend. So it was great play by Sen. The queen count is perfect, and he is so far ahead of his opponent. Income tap shows 77 to 63, huh. with the fourth hatchery almost finished. And he will be at seven, or excuse me, eight gas very soon. Now, with that, he's able to do anything he wants. He can go Zergling, Baneling, Infestors. He could basically trade as much as he wants to, which is where he wants to be at, and then expand even more. And his opponent will be very, very behind uh, just reproducing the army. Let's uh, take a closer look at what just transpired. You can see that initially Sen bringing the queens was very helpful to hold so off the queen, uh, the, the, the queens the, and uh, hold off the banshees. And, and you can see that staying on creep that long, the even though Straylock removed the creep tumors with the scan, just ends up getting surrounded and getting pushed and back. A fantastic job by Sen in holding off a very light push from Straylock as we head back to a live broadcast. But you know, Straylock, again, this was all pressure to keep any attempt to shut down a third base up. Straylock has what he wants. Um, even though he did lose some of his units. Now, Sen also has what he wants. He's at 95 drones on four bases pretty comfortably. Straylock uh, does try to see if he can get some Zergen kills with his Hellions, but he's also scanning and eliminating these creep tumors. Sen's going to run up here to the natural. Straylock should react by lifting up 
His depot's in a holding back, but Sen pulls back as well. And you, both players are just they are just sending units, not really trying to commit to anything, really harass each other. And I like what Shreylog is doing, just trying to be everywhere on the map here, really take map control away from Sun. Well done. Just picking off some of those drones, then uh, picking up his Marines. Now the Infestor count has started. The Hive is already um, just about 75% of the way done. The Spire was started at the same time. So he is looking to go to that greater Spire tech, of mm -hmm. course, Broodlords. Infestors and Corruptors. That is exactly where you want to be. The Zerglings for now are just being produced to defend against any potential uh, huge pushes. But I like where Sen is going with this, and he will kind of consolidate everything in a little bit. It looks like the push out from Strelek will proceed on. Now the Zerglings are not in position for a counterattack, so he actually has to force some sort of engagement here. Yep. And I think that helps out. Oh, is he going to go for the counterattacking option? I don't know. Well, I don't think that's why. Strelok has his 2 2 timing. And this is looking very savage because of the position his army is in. It's going to be very hard to remove it. Oh, Straylock having his tank in range of the spine cards. That's not going to help. But you can look at how fortified he's in position. The Zergen's going in for the third base. But look at this bunker and supply depot, SimCity. That's exactly how I would want it if I was in the Terran army. But Straylock doesn't uh, pay attention to his army. Gets fungled in the front. He's all about to get surrounded as well. The hatchery is much well alive. And with that, Sen... Is he going to be able to clean up everything else? A lot of his infestors are dropping as wow. well. Beautifully played. Oh. I can't believe he actually did that. Yeah. I didn't think, uh, well, of course, I think the Zerglings did, the Zerglings at the third base did focus too much attention for Strelok. And he wasn't microing his front correctly. All those Marines in front is bad. You want to actually layer them. So when the Zerglings come in, the siege tanks are protected. But at this point, Sen is just massively ahead. And as you can see, because Strelok doesn't have any Mm. Was he able to get No, he won't. But uh, because Sen has this huge amount of time, he will be able to sit back, start getting Corruptors and his Broodlords. And that Broodlord, Infestor, Corruptor composition is just so hard to deal mm. with, especially against an 8 or 10 gas Zerg. Uh, Straylock's going to fall back. His 2-2 timing no longer is relevant because uh, you can see that Hive's already done for Sen for a while. And uh, you can see that Sen is really just taking over the map. You can see that he's also setting up defenses everywhere, leaving pockets of units around his bases. That's exactly what you want to do. Is Shaylock trying to see if he can drop. That's exactly what he needs to do to keep Zerg busy while he gets up his answer to Hive Tech, which is uh, pretty tough. Andre, why don't we break down a little bit of late game TVG, especially with the options Shaylock has now that Sen's established what he wants in late game. I think a lot of players have been going towards Viking Thor Marine and just looking to have that overall power. I don't think theoretically that is the way to go, especially if your opponent, the Zerg, have some sort of huge advantage in economy. If they're an equal, maybe if Terran is ahead, yes, I think that is capable because you can just have reproduction much faster than your opponent. But at this point, I think this is a really difficult composition to do. Sen should have a pretty nice advantage over his opponent. We'll see in a little bit. Ooh, nice pick off, but the fourth or fifth base gets taken out over here in the mid-right as well. Yeah, um, and I think Straylock will trade that every day. Ten supply for a base. And uh, Straylock, yeah, he does lose a medevac and some marines and his ability to control the back half of the map for him, but Sniping that hatchery was really good because now all of a sudden Stralok's in good position to take his fourth base and keep on even base amount of Sen. Now Odyssey is kind of a similar to dual site in terms of expansion pathing. It's very rotational base. And speaking oh. of that, we see the Zerglings go straight onto the Fungal onto the Marines and the tanks before they're able to really get in siege mode. And look at the spread of Fungals. It is an absolute epidemic. As you can see, the rest of those Marines drop, and that was a very close call Beautiful. for Stralok. Very well done by Sen, but needs to keep his Infestors alive. Now here's the big problem. He needs those Siege Tanks, because without Siege Tanks, you can actually switch over to Zergling Baneling very efficiently. And yes, Marines are good, but at this point, because Sen's Creep Threat is so far in to the opponent, uh, well, I guess into the map, um, you know, consistently Stralok will have to be attacking on to Creep. So it's a big problem for him. He's going to look to play the defensive game from here on oh out, man. but this is just saying you will have the economic advantage from here on out. I have to look to have very efficient trades, and that doesn't happen when Broodlords, Infestors, and Corruptors are out on the field and in plentiful numbers. Yeah, Broodlords are out onto the field at the moment, and uh, Sen is moving out pretty aggressively, taking center of the map control, which will play it to be really, really, uh, really important. 
As I, I can't emphasize it more than with three reallys, but uh, especially with Vikings in play now, it'll be matter all about whether or not they're able to split up and avoid the fungals. The Vest is trying to see if they can catch whatever they can let, get their hands on. The Sen is trying to send his Corruptors of to protect the Broodlords, and Sen is also starting to devastate the huge amount of tanks here, and Marine Shaylock's running out of supplies. Sen still looking pretty strong as he has most of his army and nothing in production. Look at how strong and fester Broodlord is with the Corruptors, and there it is, even some Queens transfusing Sen with a very strong late game push. How can Straylock face against this incredible might of Sir? This is insane. As Straylock, he doesn't really have any option to defend against this. If you don't have ghosts, it's almost over at this point. The Infestor count is too plentiful with their energy, you know, causing so much damage to the Vikings, to the Marines, and even uh, keeping the units out of range. Uh, for them to actually deal damage against, whether it be Broodlords or the Queens or Infestors, or whatever it might be, transfuses are consistent on those those uh, Broodlords, and it's such great control yeah. of this army. And I think all Sen needs to do is just remax and, and go in with another wave, and here it is. Another round of Zerglings are going to come in here. Just beautiful play overall by Sen. And great Sen control. pulled back his Infestors when he knew he didn't have strong ground support, and now he has his uh, Infestors rejoining the army. Look at it, Send is just completely eradicating the, the Terran base. Now inside the production line, which is always the worst part. Uh, whenever you play Terran, you realize that anything that pops out immediately dies as uh, Sen is cleaning up the rest here. GG from Straylock. And after 23 minutes of the game, Sen comes out on top for game number one. Very well played. I think Straylock needed maybe Ghost at the end there. That's definitely a unit that um, we overlook in TVZ ever hmm. since that snipe change. Um, but don't forget, you can still two-shot infestors. Well, now you can two-shot infestors a lot easier, and you need that EMP for the queens because I think queen plus broodlords are just too strong to only have Vikings, Thors, and Marines. You have to mm -hmm. overmake them, and that does give a lot of uh, tech transitions for, for Zerk to take advantage of that even if they overdo it. So a tough position for Strelik to be in, but uh, overall very well played by Sen, and the first match will go to him. So guys, we want to thank Game Miner for the game number one. Game Miner is a smartphone application that reminds you about NESL broadcast. Download it at handlelobber.com. We'll be back to see if Straylock can protect number one seed here in Division 3, or will Sen be able to close the gap and potentially switch things around after this break?